Well, good morning, survivors, and welcome back to the Tall Turtle here. And today we have a very special episode. If you think this texture pack and shaders is over the top for all you purists, wait until you see what I got in store for you today. Kim Doll has alerted me to some ultra high definition realistic shaders and texture packs, but I'm going to take it a step further. I did some research and I have some ultra, ultra, ultra high definition texture packs and shader packs. And I figure since I've got the PC power to do it, we are going to melt my computer, have a look at our pets in the game with these ultra, ultra, ultra high definition texture packs and shaders. So I'm gonna reload the sim, not the sim. I guess I, I consider this life simulator. We're gonna reload Minecraft with the new files. And after the cut, you're gonna see some extreme detail in 4K. And here we are with the ultra, ultra realistic texture pack with ultra, ultra realistic shaders, still in 4K. Looking at our pets, here is Chester. He's a mix, but he looks very much like a Turkish fawn. He's the goofiest of the four. And I think I woke him up. And here is Squirrel, looks very different than this texture pack, but this is Squirrel from the game. Purebred Maine Coon, even though he's a runt, so he's about a third the size he's supposed to be. But he's full grown, he's just a tiny one. Very long hair. Just got groomed yesterday, actually. He's kind of the leader of everything. He lets you know when they're out of food, and he lets you know when there's meat being cooked and you want some. He has a lot of spots he doesn't like you to pet because he'll swat at you. But once you get to know him, he's fine. Just a little small. Oh, Big Yan, though. Am I waking you all up? Am I waking everybody up? I think I am. And here's Loki. It looks like the shaders are a little overexposed. There we go. So Loki, he sometimes is a leader. He and Squirrel fight to be leaders. But um, he's also mixed, even though he looks exactly like a Russian blue from the snout to the eyes to the tips of his toes. In fact, he might be a purebred Russian blue, but we don't have papers or anything. But um, he... He tries to be the leader. He's also the cuddliest and the most jealous. If you're petting another cat, this guy will come up and nudge the other cat out of the way. Even if I'm clipping the other cat's nails, he comes in to get his nails clipped because he is so jealous all the time. If I'm talking to one of my real life children, he gets in the way and doesn't want me to talk to them. He wants me to talk to him. And last but not least is Jet. The tiny female, the friskiest female, she stays very clear of all the other kitties. And she hangs out in front of this old heat vent that has a warm draft of air all the time. And she won't even look at me. She's like, leave me alone. Are you going to look at us there, Jet? No? There she is. Thank you. See? She follows instructions. She is really, really tiny. You can't tell. I guess if you know how big a heat vent is. She's really, really tiny. And it's bath time, and she's very unhappy that she's being disturbed during bath time. And here we have Salad, kind of hiding in her plant. It looks like she's moved her rocks out of the way. Very, very old ornate wood turtle. There, were, there was a pair, Soup and Salad, but Soup died immediately. She had some bacterial thing, but Salad is still here. I've had Salad for almost 20 years, and she was an adult when I got her. Life expectancy on these things, on this breed, goes from 35 to 60. So, she's going to be around a very long time. I'm trying to get her to come over and open her mouth, but she won't because it's nap time. It's nap time for all the animals. And here's Puff, the magic bearded dragon. Used to be the magic baby bearded dragon, but now it's the magic adult bearded dragon. Again, disturbing him during nap time. Usually he's running around his tank. Even in the winter, he doesn't brumate very well. And last but not least, we have our horrendous aquarium. We introduced a new plant. And with it came this algae bloom that I've not been able to get rid of. I don't understand what's going on. I did get rid of it for four hours once and then it came back. It also came with a bunch of assassin snails. So these are pinhead size assassin snails. Millions of them. I keep pulling out the big ones when I see them. But they're still they're still spreading. 
Um, I'm very disappointed because this aquarium used to be so clean and clear, you couldn't even tell there was water in it. And it was that way for several years. And then we introduce a new plant. And we have that algae bloom. I have since removed that plant, but we still have the algae bloom and I can't get rid of it. I've actually broken this thing down 100%, started over, and we still have a problem. So it's absolutely horrendous to look at, but I'm sharing it anyway, because sometimes that's the reality. And look at all those snails. Oh my gosh, they came on a plant. Oh well. And there you have it. Extreme detail, extreme shaders, but I can't run that forever because it's just too much on my CPU. And it gets too hot. So here we are back in our regular, for me, texture pack and shaders. But anyway, hopefully you enjoyed that. One more thing I wanted to do, as promised, is a face reveal. I have not done a face reveal on this channel. Now, if you check my piano channel, you see my face all the time. But I know a lot of you don't watch my piano channel. If you haven't, go check it out. Link is in the description below. Otherwise, here's a face reveal. You've all been waiting for it. It's going to happen in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1... And there you go, face reveal. Hopefully you enjoyed it, because it was only up there for a brief second. Otherwise, that is the episode. I certainly enjoyed recording, and hopefully you enjoyed watching it. If I was dropping it, here's part of my back. I'll be like, 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 I'